What's up, y'all, man? Y'all already know what time it is, man. Today, we're going to be checking out why white people like country music with Shane Gillis. Ah, righty. Now, I'm really looking forward to this, man. First off, I've never heard of Shane Gillis. This will be my first time ever checking him out. Um, and, and I feel like the title really caught my eye, and I've seen a few of you guys requesting him. So, looking forward to experiencing what he's got for the first time. Uh, I have heard he is pretty dang funny, so... Uh, let's let's hope so, man, you know, because I'm a fan of country music, too, and, and I am curious to see if I relate, you know, because there's certain songs, man, if you put on When It Rains It Pours, you can't skip that. You can't turn it off, or, or we, got, we, we have issues for the rest of the day, and I can't speak to you, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just certain songs, like that one, Tennessee Whiskey, you know what I'm saying? Chris Stapleton, man, he a legend, man, certified legend, but... All, all of that aside, man, I just want to see if I relate. I'm looking forward to this. Before we do get started, if you guys have other artists, other songs, other comedy videos y'all want me to check out, let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoy, please subscribe. Let's do it. I don't know I just moved to New York this year. And uh, yeah, it's all right. New York's all right. It's nice. I, I like it more than I thought I would. But uh, I just, just found out I was fat. <laughs> Just, I'm 31. I just this year found out that I was a fat guy. I'm from a white trash enough town that this was killing it. People back home see me, they're like, what's your fucking secret? I'm like, oh, but just hanging out, man. Oh, Supposedly man. hang out. <laughs> and then, I don't know, I moved, uh, I moved to Philly first. I lived in Philly for like two years. Yeah, gay birds. And then... Uh, but it was funny because I moved like from a white trash town to Philly like right during the presidential election. <laughs> you, you pussies. Uh, no, but it was funny because like that was a big jump. I went from like an all white trash town to then to the city where now all my new friends were like real woke, and that was like because if like if this was my hometown, someone could just walk in here in full camouflage and sit down, and you'd be like, that's a fucking good outfit. <laughs> you, you trying to get pussy in here tonight, dude? Come on, man. You know, full camo at Clusterfest, all right? <laughs> like, everybody I grew up with listens to country music, and I don't, but I get it. Like, I understand why white people like it, you know? Like, you can relate to it. You can understand all the lyrics. <laughs> you don't need to Google what a nene is. <laughs> not, I don't know if you know this. Every country song's just about exactly what a white guy's doing at that moment. Yeah. It's like I turn yeah. the radio up. It's like, yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Yo, I've been saying that since I was young, bro. But as I got older, I started to relate to it. <laughs> That's so true, bro. I picked that my beer in my hand. Like, yo, that shit is real. <laughs> they just tell you what they doing, bro. And uh, they out, you know, the crowd ain't giving, they not, they not giving the energy, bro. That shit was funny. What he said about how he was skinny and when, you know, he's in this country town, bro, that shit was funny, bro. Yo, that day, that Southern diet is real, man. Yo, they eat so good, man. Hey, I got down here in Florida. I love it. Oh, it's like, yeah, fuck yeah. That's good. <laughs> That's music. That's what I like. <laughs> I get it, you can relate to it I ride around, I listen to rap, that's all I listen to I can't relate to one fucking song <laughs> I just ride around by myself, bob my head Just like, I beat the pussy up like, oh, huh. <laughs> yeah, I, like, I don't know if I beat it up like, I'm like, I'll shadow box the pussy I've never <laughs> I've never knocked it out Everyone's knocking out pussy He's, I've never knocked it out <laughs> Not, uh, I'm more like Floyd Mayweather with a pussy. Very technical. <laughs> very defensive. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's all I listen to. I just ride around and listen to people brag about how good they are at sex. <laughs> I don't think I've ever made a girl make a sound with my dick. Oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> Except oh. like when I lay on them at first and they're like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was... just, oh, Jesus, mister. <laughs> that was good, man. Oh my gosh, bro. <laughs> oh, stuff. Yeah. Good. So that's where I'm from. <laughs> and then I moved to the city. And here, let me lose you again real quick. Uh, it was right during the presidential election. And uh, <laughs> it was funny because all my friends went from like white trash to like I said, woke. And they were all like, they're all like, did you guys all vote Democrat? Did anybody here vote? 
Nobody saying nothing, bro. Do you guys do you guys remember how like confident you guys were? <laughs> going into that last one? Oh, uh, you remember that? Like a little borderline arrogant going into that. All right. Don't let it cost you again. No, I relax. Relax. I did not vote for him. <laughs> I don't know which election he's talking about. Yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> no, I, act I actually did not vote for him, which that was tough. Look at me. <laughs> His whole campaign was at me. <laughs> I was watching TV. He was like, you a fucking Trump, fat man. idiot. I was like, yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, what are we doing? <laughs> what the fuck are we doing, dude? We're building walls? Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. He's talking about, <laughs> he's talking about I took Trump. skull out of my mouth to come up here. <laughs> and I didn't vote for Donald Trump. <laughs> Makes me like the Nelson Mandela of central Pennsylvania. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't know. You guys are all right. I want you guys to know, though, I do have black friends. <laughs> my goodness. People really do that, bro. It's nice having black friends when the rest of your friends are just fucking goofy white guys. It's nice. You get some outside perspective, some advice. You just gotta be careful of the advice you take from your black friends when it comes to, like, sex. <laughs> When you look like Uncle Buck, it doesn't <laughs> translate. Like, this is the advice my friend gave me when I went on a date with this chick. He was like, hey, yo, Shane, you don't want to go too deep in the pussy. Yo. She's always going to want the dick. <laughs> He's like, you're, you're worried about depth? <laughs> like, depth is a I didn't even know they had depth. I'm just happy to be there. You're worried about, like, depth is an issue? He was like, you don't want to give her the whole dick. I'm like, that's all I have. <laughs> what are you talking about? I've never been, like, halfway in and been like, oop, oop. You gotta earn the rest of this. Like, it's insane. Depth? That's crazy. I'm worried about, like, the noises I'm making. Like, I just, I just sound like, like a shitty ghost the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm almost done. Yeah. <laughs> oh my Death. goodness, bro. Or my face? You ever worry about your face <laughs> when you're fucking? Don't do it. Don't don't think about how dumb you look. <laughs> you end up face, looking like a fucking race, psycho man. trying to look handsome the whole just <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he actually looked kind of scary. It's not good. Oh, my God. It's worse for me if I let it go. Like, if I just let my face go during sex, like I, I look like Brandon Dassey from Making a Murderer, the whole just... <laughs> yeah. Girl's down there, she's like, did you do it? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. Yeah. This was funny, bro. <laughs> Yo, he had some highlights on this one, bro. I mean, particularly the way he started that shit off, bro. Talking about how he was skinny and and then, <laughs> yo, when he got into the to the black jokes and and the things black, you know what they do. You don't take advice from them. You know what I'm saying with that stuff. That was funny, bro. Ah, man, yo. <laughs> I think he has this like. Uh, subtle awkwardness to him, bro, that he does it on purpose. You know what I'm saying? And I think it really works for certain topics, bro. I, I, I had a lot of fun watching him, man. And definitely, definitely would love for y'all to recommend some more for, my, for me, man. I like hearing about his rural area, uh, like, you know, what he what it was like for him in the rural areas. You know what I'm saying? Those, those moments are really, really funny to me, bro, because uh, just easy to understand, easy to pick up. And uh, I had a blast with this one, man. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please like the video and subscribe. As always, I love y'all. Peace out.